welcome back to my channel. So it is already that time. It is time to set up a brand new month. So we are gonna be setting up March. This will be the third month in my A6. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this out. It makes it a little easier on me to do, oh, stop. Probably should have taken the pen out first. All right, so I'm just gonna put this aside. I do need my future planning calendar. There is, as you can see, a bunch happening in March. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. So I went ahead last night and I mapped out um, all of March. So funny thing is, I forgot to skip a page to have like my cover page like I do here. So completely forgot to skip that page. So this first calendar is gonna be my sticker calendar. Then here's my cover page. Then this is my events, appointments, and all that other fun stuff calendar. The other thing that I did is that I recently had watched um, Shayna's videos. Um, she's the Foxy Corn on Instagram. And I really liked her weekly layout that she was doing. Um, so it's kind of hard to see because you can see like the lines from here, even though this is pencil. So, so yeah, that's better. So pretty much it's gonna be a vertical, sorry, not a vertical, horizontal weekly. So you have Monday through Saturday here and then Sunday's down at the bottom. And she has a bunch of other things included, but I'm just gonna be adding a tracker and then I'm gonna leave the space next to Sunday as a month, uh, weekly to-do list. Um, Cause I don't really need the other things that she tracks, but I wanted to see how it would look. So I'm gonna try it out for this month and see how that works for me. But yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about what I'm gonna be using. So obviously I'm gonna be using my Planner Monkey Co monthly script for my cover page here. And then I have a bunch of other things that I'm using. So this is actually really cool. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and it has like a whole big pocket here and then it has a smaller pocket in the front, which is really nice because it holds pretty much everything that I need and it's, it's great. So take this stuff out. These I'm gonna be using on the weeklies because as you can see, they're an amazing fit right here. They fit perfectly, it's amazing, awesome. This is the monthly calendar I'm gonna be using. So this is a freebie from Lucy Plants Life. I'm gonna be using that as my mark off calendar. Um, this is the vellum that I'm gonna be using for the month. This is from the February kit for uh, the style planner. My usual to do's. Um, these are the Sweet Kawaii Design stuff, sticker book thing. I picked up from Michael's like years ago. Um, I'm gonna be using this. I've been using February and January's as my sticker calendar, kind of just label here. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing for March. And I think that's all I was going to include for the monthly setup. Everything else in here is kind of like my daily plan one. So let's go ahead here. We're gonna start with my March. Now, can't fit it on the bottom, so this one is gonna have to be a sideways one. Hopefully it fits. Yes. So depending on the spacing that I have in the boxes, it's been in a different spot every month. So this was where February's was, and then for January, it was in the top corner, I think, yeah, the top corner. So just depending on where I have the spacing for it, it's just where it's gonna go. Um, debating if I wanna add any little bits of washi here. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit to here, just to kind of give it that extra green. Since St. Patrick's Day does fall this month. I think that's it, because I don't want to overcrowd it on this side because it has this, and it becomes a really colorful monthly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. So this is what my typical monthly area looks like. 
if I can get this off of here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this down as straight as I can. And that's not straight, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, so that's my checkoff calendar, and then I'm going to tip this in using my handy dandy uh, Monster Mini Golf fun card. Oh yeah, so I can't believe that literally March is next week. I feel like I just set up February and yep, no, it's another month down. Um, so I will probably not be an A6 come the next allergy that I do. Just, yeah, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm probably going to go back to B6. I don't know why. Just like I said, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just going to go back. I made the plan of it. I did that here. Kind of mapped out how I wanted to set it up. But yeah, I think I'm just going to try that out. But I am going to finish this month here to just calm down. So I'm debating. Should I use... I think I'm going to use one of these boxes since they're green. This is from the January um, Style Planner Sub Kit. I think I'll use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and layer it with the March script. So, yeah, I'll do the. So line that up here. And then I'm just gonna slightly, there you go. That's cute. So when you see it just like that, that's pretty. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do in Fast Frame is I'm gonna go ahead and on this calendar and my sticker calendar, just put all the days, like the numbers. And I may add some washi in here, but I think I'm gonna wait until I get my scripts because I think that's what I've been doing for all of my monthlies, because I want to be able to see exactly where the scripts are going to go. But I'll also put my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday things up here. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that real fast so I'm not taking up a lot of time. So I had to take a quick break, um, but anyways, so the dates are put here. I have all of my weeks taken care of. And then what I did, whoops, let me adjust that. Here we go. So what I did um, is I took my Micron uh, one, which is a 0.25 millimeter. And I went ahead and I put in the dates right next to this. It fits perfectly. I absolutely love that. So now what I'm going to do, and I also forgot to add in my health tracker. So I usually do my health tracker right before my weeks, but I'm like a complete mess this month, evidently. So my health tracker will go right here. So I'm just going to tip that in real fast with my um, monthly washi that I decided to use, which was this one. My hands look awful. Um, <laughs> So I am just going to put this all along the edge real fast and then cut off the excess. Okay. Got the scissors. here somewhere okay and then I'm going to just fold this over my ruler that I have and just kind of stick it right into 
the spine. Okay, so then that's there like this. I'll fill in the dates later on, but I am gonna go ahead and put the monthly on there, which I believe is here. Yeah. So I'll put my little monthly. And this is the same script from Planner Monkey Co., just in like the mini version. And then I'll just put that right here. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to go in and fill in my appointments calendar based off of my future plans calendar here. So there's a lot going on, um, a lot of appointments, dentist appointments, fillings, all that fun stuff that has to get put in. So first things first though, I do want to mark a couple birthdays, but it is both my dad's birthday and my brother's birthday this month. So I'm going to use these Planner Monkey Co. minimal minis here. And so it is the 25th and the 29th. So I'm just going to mark those here and just fill it in. So dad's birthday and then Lou's birthday. I'm also going to go ahead and mark in our spring break, which is this week here. And I'm using this mild liner. Um, it's kind of like, oh, it's the color olive. There you go. Color olive. And I'm just going to write in there with my micron. I'm going to put spring break. Now we can go ahead and fill in everything. So, Sid has a dentist appointment on the first and so do I. No, no, mine's on the third, okay. So, Sid, dentist at 11 and then I will be at, um, a professional development that day as well and it's from 8 30 to 3 and I just have to make note to bring my laptop but I'll make note of that in my weekly when I get to it um, she has art club on Thursday she won't be at baking club on Wednesday which is why I didn't put it in um, that's a task for the week. Then I have my dentist. And that's at four. Okay. All right. So that is that week. Then next week I have a conference on the Monday. I have a conference on Wednesday. Um, Sid has her next, why don't I have another dentist one here? I'm wondering if that was supposed to be 11 or if that was meant, I think that one was okay to be at one. Okay, so dentist at one and then she's gonna miss art club. This one, she has baking club. Um, duh, 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 duh. Okay, so then this, on this Friday, um, so it's also a payday, so let me do those two. Let me mark those in here. So again, I'm using Planner Monkey Co., so it is a payday on the 10th and the 24th. Um, so it is a pie event after school and I signed up to let my students pie me in the face if they can. They're going to throw pies. So I'll have like protective like face gear and all that stuff to make sure that I don't get like completely hit in the eye. 
Um, but yeah, so that should be fun. I also forgot on the 4th, it's the Home Depot Kids event. So Kids Craft. Yeah, all right. So then that's the second week. The next week, this should be the final dentist appointment for her. And it's at 11. Um, I have an early release. I'm gonna put that one at the top early. Release. And then this one is a teacher planning. So we have an another IXL professional development, which is like, oh, I'm hoping I can skip that one. And then I'm not sure if she'll have art club because I can't remember if they have art club on or they have club on early release days or not. Probably not, so I'm gonna leave that one. We have a gender reveal party for a friend of ours on Sunday. C B Smith. Um, so I have something here for the 22nd, which is the next week, but I'm not sure if I'm still doing that just because I'm not sure if I'm going to get the full stipend for that. I actually have to send an email to someone. So let me make an actual quick note. Email Torres about civics course. Okay. All right. So that is pretty much my monthly. There's a lot going on, a lot of appointments and everything. So we are gonna go ahead and just get all of those filled in to my weeklies now. So we will start with this first week. So I do have to flip back to my calendar here. So again, a lot of things happening. So it is dentist at 11 for Sid. And then mine is at three. And then I have a conference also. Okay. Okay, nothing on the 28th, so we'll skip that one. So now we're here on Wednesday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this real quick for you guys so you guys don't hear me rambling the same exact things again. So enjoy with some music in the background. Everything has been transferred, so this is what everything looks like. Um, I'm gonna see. I'm really hoping that it doesn't smudge. Hold your breath. Okay, perfect. Smudge is like a little bit, like very minute, but the highlighter or the Tombow highlighters would like seriously smudge it, and I really didn't like it, and I would have to like write it first, and it's just annoying. Okay, so those are good. And then I went ahead and added the tasks that I needed to get done anyways. But yeah, I think the only thing I'm going to do now is add in my to-dos, which I forgot to do when I was doing the week. And I think I may go ahead and set up my tracker. Actually, I'll leave the trackers for the week up. I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, so this is the first one. So let's go. I guess I'll just... Mm, all right. This one, and then I'll do this pinkish one. <clears throat> mm, this nude, beige, and then this kind of mauve color. And then I'll end it with this blue, really pretty. 
Um, I'm thinking if I want to put any washi to kind of just tie in the weekly or the monthly washi. I don't have space on top. Maybe if I just put a little bit, I can put it here because I don't have that many um, habits. So I think that would be fine. Because yeah, I don't want to put it here because if I have a lot of tasks going on that week, it may just throw me off. Um, Let's just get these down real quick. And then that way, I am done setting up March, which is great because I usually <laughs> set up the month literally the day before. So we are getting things rolling this time. I gotta hurry up. Let's do a final flip through with month of March, of course. I think you guys go through this at least once a video with me. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a flip of March. So again, with my mistake, this is my sticker calendar. It's gonna be right at the front. Here is my monthly dashboard. So again, this is from Lucy Plans Life. This vellum is from the February kit from the Style Planner. Here is my cover here. This is from Planner Monkey Co. This is from the Style Planner. Here is my event monthly. So the little icons are from Planner Monkey Co. And then we go into my weeks. Again, these are from Planner Monkey Co. as well. The washi is from Hobby Lobby from one of their big boxes. And then this was a printable from Etsy. I can't remember the shop that I used, to be honest with you. So then here are the weeks. Again, all done, nice and ready to go. And then my health calendar, which I will just fill in the dates when March actually starts. Um, I will make a new key here because I think I may want to change the colors around. So there's that. And then this is where I will start next week. So super excited. We are two months in and we're almost halfway through. So I think four months will be the cutoff mark for me for my Stalogy. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do a B6 and I'm gonna kind of arrange it to how I had it when I set up my A5. So that's why I have all these like pages, like whatever. Okay, but yeah, so that's it. If there was anything that I didn't mention where it was from, just go ahead and throw that down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video when I plan the first week of March. Bye.